filming YouTube with that goon today. So this is gonna go down very interesting. <laughs> uh, that's my that's my boy over there, Alex. I'm gonna drop his Instagram right here. Uh, so we're gonna hopefully film a really good YouTube video today. We're gonna try and get a lot of neat angles, deadlift some heavy weight, take a lot of pre-workout, a lot of caffeine, and uh, have a good workout. So we're gonna see how it goes. I will see you on the flip side. Warm-ups are all done. We're gonna get started with deadlifts real soon here. Just shaking on my pre. Scoop and a half of Godzilla today. I know I literally in the last video, I was like, yeah, one scoop gets me cracked. So, heavy weight, his body get destroyed today. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but uh, lifting with Alex, when me and him lift together, we normally take a lot of caffeine and lift very heavy, stupid weight. So, we're gonna see what we can do today. Um, I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good deadlift. I think it's, uh, I haven't had a heavy deadlift session in a while. Normally, normally I go to like 585-ish around there and then I just call it. Um, so we're gonna try and pull some heavy, maybe a PR. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But I'm um, gonna try and get some nice angles and uh, I'll see you inside after I drink this. So deadlifts went decent. I wouldn't say they were very good, but they also weren't very bad. I, uh, I hit 635, 
um, which is like my current max. And I did it relatively easy. Like I'm, I'm able to get it up. I think, I mean, actually every time I've attempted it, I've gotten it up at this point. So um, I'm able to do it consistently, but I attempted 6.55 afterwards just because it was, I mean, like 6.35 was not really like questionable. Like it had a, you know, lockout was a little bit difficult, but I was like, oh, why not? Let's go for it. You know, let's get a PR for the first Della video. That'd be sick. Um, and I broke ground on the right side and just little bit like maybe a hair on the left side so um, didn't get it did not PR fortunately that would have been the title of the video if I definitely PR'd um, but uh, yeah it was it was decent like I, I can't really complain because the last time I deadlifted my right side was pinned I couldn't get my right side up and my left side came up and now this time it's the opposite so <laughs> I don't really know why that's the case but I just gotta you know attack that list with more intensity um, Alex attempted 675 got it off the ground and just dropped it because he's like yeah it's not worth grinding out so um, it is what it is PRs would have been nice it would have been hype for the first Della video but we take what we can get so um, moving forward I'm probably just gonna stick with conventional to be honest I really would I really want to chase a 675 sumo and possibly a 700 but I just I don't know I kind of want a 500 conventional more so I got to grind towards that I'm currently at a 435 conventional which is horrible um, in comparison to my sumo but different leverages different movements different muscles so you know we take what we can get so uh, I'm gonna rock with conventional probably moving forward but um, aside from that uh, we're gonna get back to the rest of the workout and See how it goes. Finished with rack pulls, hands are absolutely obliterated. I, I avoided using straps until about six plates, and then I used Alex's straps, and those were terrible, and I couldn't even hold on to the bar. So I just said, whatever, going in raw, <laughs> just use my hands, and I ripped my whole hand open. Um, my right hand, thankfully, so I can't show you, but this one is 
kind of calloused up. You can kind of see it, but the, the right one's in rough shape. Um, I don't, I have really weird hands. That's why I always resort to using straps on deadlifts. Um, because for some weird reason, like the middle of my hand rips. Like it's not even that like I don't have good grip strength. I just have really weird, I don't want to say weak hands, but literally the middle of my hand, see, you can kind of see it, not really, but the middle of my hand rips like completely when I deadlift like with no straps or anything. Um, so I do have reasonings behind using straps all the time in my deadlifts, but that's still a poor excuse. I really want to get my grip strength up with hook. Um, so I think once I focus on conventional, I'm going to focus on hook too, because I do prefer pulling mixed with conventional, but there's just too uh, high of high risk of injury for a conventional. So I'm going to focus on hook and conventional the next coming weeks and uh, see what we can do. Because if I get my conventional up, my sumo is just going to blow up too. Like my sumo is not going to blow up my conventional, but my conventional will blow up my sumo. So that is the goal for the coming weeks. So you will see. Um, but like I said, I literally have a 435 conventional. So at least we'll be hitting some consistent PRs uh, the next coming weeks. I'm looking forward to it. So, And I'll probably be working with the stiff bar too. Stiff bar plus hook grip, my thumbs are going to get obliterated, but got to do what you got to do, right? So I'll see you back in there. I think we're either going to do extreme row, maybe lat pull downs, um, and uh, we're going to see how my hands fare because they are in rough shape. So I will see you inside. So just finished with Extreme Row. Uh, that machine is lit. I really like it. Um, I like. I have a love-hate relationship with it because you can adjust the weight so that you feel it at certain ranges of the lift. So because I struggle with locking out on deadlift, I swap the machine to feel the weight at the end range. So it's similar to a lockout. Um, and you go heavy on that, and it's just brutal because you you can't you can hardly even do the full lift, right? The full range of motion because you're just focused on that lockout. So. That's all done with. My grip is absolutely shot. So we are going to try and do hopefully two more movements, um, but we'll see how that goes because my grip is obliterated. <laughs> I can hardly hold on to the machine handles and uh, try doing rope and it's just like, okay, all right, that stings. But we're gonna get it done because we are not going to call a workout just because we can't hold on to stuff. So we're just gonna grit through it and uh, I'll see you in a bit.